Hey guys, this isn't going to be your typical video. This is just uh, basically me ranting. I'm not going to advertise this on Facebook or Twitter or Google Plus like I usually do. This is just basically a video that I'm making for me. I guess basically as a form of therapy. <clears throat> and if someone sees it, then someone sees it, whatever. It's been brought to my attention that I've been somewhat grumpy lately with certain people. Not with everybody, just certain people. Let's take a look back and examine that, shall we? Long story short, a few years ago I was living with this girl in an apartment and I had just gotten sick with my vestibular condition and basically couldn't work for three years. My father was supporting me and her parents were supporting her, whatever, and you know, we helped each other out, but you know, she stayed with me the whole time, so I can't get on her case for that. She could have just cut and run, but she didn't. Along the way, I got depressed, and I didn't always treat her very well, and then I broke things off with her. And after I realized, I'd kind of made a mistake, so I spent the next few years trying to fix it. Let me clarify this by saying that she didn't always treat me very well myself, and some of those things she has done and said still haunt me to this day, and it's still something I deal with, but whatever. One of those things was her telling me that she didn't find me attractive anymore. We were still together. Then she wondered why I tried to break things off a little bit later. Go fucking figure, right? Suddenly all the thoughts I had before making this video aren't there anymore. I messed things up bad, but I acknowledged that. I was a man about it and I accepted it, and then I spent the next three years trying to make things right. I changed virtually everything about myself. I grew my hair out more because that's what she preferred. I wore the type of clothes she wanted me to wear. I listened to the music she wanted me to listen to. I watched the movies and TV shows that she wanted me to watch. Well, on the other side of the coin, she was virtually ignoring videos that I sent her and laughing at things I wanted her to read or listen to or whatever. But I took that for about four years. Along the way, she kept giving me signs that maybe it would work even though she was saying you know, she was telling me not right now maybe in the future it's not gonna work right now blah 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 but then she'd hold my hand while we were watching fireworks with great escape more than one night that we spent together we had to share the same bed and she's I was actually making an effort not to touch her because I felt like it was inappropriate and she's like I didn't say you couldn't hold me so she wanted me to hold her she'd sometimes give me a kiss on the forehead or cheek when I was upset she'd do all these things and then constantly shut me down when I would try to push to make things work Push me away, bringing me back, push me away, bringing me back. It's what I call out of arm's reach, but still at arm's length. I also heard through the grapevine that she was enjoying this roller coaster that she put me through, which really set me off. And now she wonders why I'm so moody when I talk to her or if I'm around her. She keeps saying I hate her even though I really don't. And even though virtually like 75% of things that she's done over the past four years has been designed for me to hate her, like she's been trying to make me hate her. She's even said it. You should hate me. I'm trying to get you to hate me. I'm trying to annoy you, blah, 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 blah. Of course, now I'm annoyed and being all moody and she's all upset about it. But let's talk about support for a little bit. I've tried to support her virtually every step of the way, even though she doesn't really listen to what I say or give a shit about what I say. She used to support me in the very beginning. She supported me a lot. She, you know, I know I did it, but she kind of pushed me to get my GED. She pushed me to write my book. But now, these days, when we talk about support, your best friend supports me more than you do. I wrote a book, some of you know, not that long ago. I wanted her to basically be my beta reader, but she refused to do it. <clears throat> she said she'd read the book when it came out. Granted, the book's not officially out yet, but I brought this copy to her house several weeks ago, and it sat in her house for a month, and she didn't touch it. She doesn't read my stuff. She doesn't watch my videos. She doesn't... It's supposed to be talking about support, right? <clears throat> what a bunch of bullshit. It just makes me so angry now, and I, I know I should be over it, but, you know, people that know me know that <clears throat> that's not easy for me. People Things from the past always creep up on me all the time. I can't always shake off the past. You know, she wanted me to do this, do that, like I said, wear this hairstyle, wear these clothes, do things the way she wanted to do them, and then she turned around and tell me that she wants a man that could think for herself. Um, fuck you, I did that the first four years of our relationship in the apartment, if I remember correctly. You could barely make me do anything, I did things the way I wanted to do them. So your statement contradicts itself. I know my living situation isn't necessarily ideal, but let's face it. It doesn't fucking matter, does it? You never had any intention of working things out. You just wanted to string me along and hurt me like I hurt you. And even though I tried... <laughs> Whatever. I tried to be and still try to be the best man and best person I can be every day. She's acknowledged this herself. She does pay me a lot of compliments, but I had to really bitch and moan before I could actually get them. She keeps asking me what's wrong, what's wrong, and the truth is there's not very much wrong. My life has been fine lately except for certain things. You know, every time we had this discussion over the years over why we couldn't work things out, the story was always different. It was either me or it was her or it was living situation or if it was, you know, wait till we get a job or, you know, or somewhere along the line I hurt. <laughs> 
Basically, in my eyes, she's mad that I'm not her little fucking cat toy anymore. And that's just tough shit. I'm no one's cat toy. I am no one's doormat. I am no one's slave. I've worked hard to get to where I'm at, and I'm not going to let anyone tell me any differently. I may not be the best father in the world, but I try, and my children love me, and that's what I care about. <clears throat> that was some self-righteous, snake tongue person thinks. <clears throat> so you're wondering why I hate you. Well, I don't actually hate you. It would be a lot fucking easier if I hated you. But if we're talking hate, it's because you designed things that way. That's what you wanted. The harder I tried to make things work, the more you pushed me away. And you're going to turn around and say, well, I told you not right now. I told you, you know, it wasn't going to work right now and blah, blah, blah. But then you would do something different to pull me back in your direction. Something to make me feel good about myself. And then just shove me away again. I'm not playing that fucking game anymore. It's all a bunch of lies and I'm sick and tired of it. Sadly enough, I will still always be there for you because you are the mother of my child and you will always have a place in my heart. Not that that fucking matters to you either. I think that's all I got. I'm not a perfect human being and I don't pretend to be, but I try to do the best I can for whatever purpose that serves. As you like to say, it is what it is. So I'm going to go get ready to bring our son to church school. Anyone who watched this video and sat through the entire end, <laughs> you have my heart. I know it wasn't an entertaining video, I know it wasn't one of those videos that put a smile on anyone's face, but it's just basically a therapy video for me. So if you did watch it all the way through, then I, I appreciate it. Yeah, I guess that's all I got. Just remember, it's Bobby's world, and you're all just living in it. CLC for life, y'all. Bye.